Hey you guys, it's Megan, OMG, it's amazing to see you, and I am new hair. I'm so freaking excited. I don't know if you will be able to tell with this lighting, you probably can't, it looks brown, um, but it is red, it is so amazing, and um, it's shorter as you can tell. I love it. So I went to a beauty school near me to get it done. Me and my mom went and I haven't been like to anywhere to get my hair cut in years. I always have my mom do it and I always dye it myself. So I thought that it might be fun to go to a salon because my mom's going to get her hair cut and donate it. And so I went with her and I got my hair dyed and cut and I love it. It was, um, they use Wella products, and so the color is 6 slash 4 5, if um, you were wondering, but honestly, this lighting will not do it justice. It's like morning, so the sun hasn't really risen, so it's not like beaming in at me and making me look like a glowing goddess angel, and it was funny. Yesterday, I work with mostly men. Like, I have two co-workers that are women. Everyone else <laughs> is a man, so when I went in to work like normal I had new hair and stuff and so I figured like no one other than the women would notice and of course the women nudi no nudist noticed <laughs> I was trying to do like past tense and it was like weird um but some of the guys noticed it was like amazing and one of my favorite co-workers he was like you look so glowing today and he was like talking about my hair it was really funny so um yeah I love it I'm so so obsessed with it and I'm I'm just really happy with it but Honestly, I'll probably just continue dyeing it with a box. This took three hours because I have I have a shit ton of hair. Like, literally mounds and mounds of hair. So, I mean, I'm so, so happy with the way it turned out. But really, I'll, just knowing myself, I'll probably do it from a box in the future. But I have a haul that I thought of the title when I was doing all the shopping and I was like, I'm gonna call the haul, I bought all the things. And honestly, I did buy all the things. I have a lot of clothes. And then I have like random stuff. None of it is like makeup because you guys know I'm on a makeup no buy until July. But I do have some beauty stuff um, that I bought. And there's still some things coming in, but honestly, I just wanted to be able to put this stuff away. So, let's jump in. So, I went to Marshall's earlier this week, Monday or something. And um, I haven't been there in months because it is such a trap for me. Like, Marshall's is the death of me, so I never allow myself to go. But I went because I was just in the mood to shop, and I bought some cool, cool stuff. So... The first thing was this um, Philosophy Vanilla Coconut Shampoo Shower Gel and Bubble Bath. I think that's what it is. I know I said I'm not going to buy more Philosophy stuff, but this smells amazing. Vanilla Coconut is like my favorite scent combination. It smells like the freaking beach. Like it smells absolutely amazing. And apparently this is a discontinued scent. Like I went on, I googled it. Of course I google everything. And um, to see if I could like buy the body lotion that goes with it because it's a beautiful, beautiful scent. And the, you can only really find this on like eBay and there's pretty much only the shower gels. There's not really body lotions on eBay. I got this for $12.99, which um, I mean... It's philosophy, so it's kind of expensive. But I'm so happy I found that. That was, like, awesome. Then um, two nail polishes I found right at the checkout. These are beautiful, especially this one. This OPI um, in Romantically Involved. And this is only $3.99. And you guys know that OPIs are, like, 8 to $9. And it's just a cream red. It's what I'm wearing on my nails now. It's beautiful. Two coats and it was opaque. I could get away with one, but I did two and I've been picking at it, so it's not perfect. But I love this. I love it so much. Then I also got this Butter London nail polish in Big Smoke, and this was $4.99. And usually Butter Londons are like $14. So this is like a shimmery blue, and I have this on my toes. And it just so happened that all the beauty stuff that I bought were red, white, and blue. And as I mentioned all the time, my birthday is the 4th of July, and I love anything, like, America-themed, so that was just kind of cool. Okay, then I found this. This is so freaking cool. So, I have, like, a weird obsession with, like, I don't want... <laughs> 
<laughs> this start out wrong I almost said I have a weird obsession with drinking that's not what I mean I mean like when I drink I like to be like classy and I really like those like highball glasses or like scotch glasses I love those and then I love like cool like um rock like ice rocks and like different ice things and I've always wanted like sphere ice cubes so I saw this it's a silicone ice ball tray by there's a clothing company named Joie spelled like this but it I don't know if this is how that's pronounced but I thought this was really cool because there's a lot of things like this but these kind of look like eggs and you pour the water in this hole freeze it obviously and then you pop these open and then the bottom is like a button like a silicone thing that you can pop it out so I haven't tried it so I don't know if it actually works but this seems like such such a smart idea so um this was $4.99 I just thought this would be fun to try and four ice cubes isn't really enough but um they had multiple ones so if this works when I try it next I will let you guys know because I just think this is so cool like look how awesome that looks and then on the back it says ice ice cubes have never been so cool <laughs> awesome so I'm stoked okay I also got this this is really random because I don't drink coffee but this is the Starbucks mocha maca um, flavor coffee it's coffee grounds so the reason that I purchased this is because I really want to make my own coconut scrubs like I really 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 do so um, I I don't know really anything about coffee like buying it because I don't buy coffee um, like to make at home sometimes I'll go to Dunkin or like Starbucks but that's besides the point and um, so I didn't really know where to like buy ground coffee like I thought that it just came in beans I see I don't really know anything about it so I sound like an idiot but I saw this at the Marshalls checkout it was $5.99 which I mean I don't know if that's good or bad but um, I love mocha scented or like flavored stuff so it's like chocolatey with coffee which is awesome so I thought that this would be awesome in my scrub that I'm gonna make eventually so I'm gonna see about that but I just wanted to buy it because it's been on my mind and I know that if I don't just like impulse buy the products that I need to make it I will never make it so that was that I also have a piece of clothing from Marshalls but it's in this pile so we'll get to that eventually Okay, I also ordered some things off of Amazon. I had a gift card from when I buy my um, Adobe Premiere Pro editing software. I have a subscription through Amazon. And if you bought it during like April or something, you got a gift card. So I bought a few things that I have been really wanting, two of which are books. So I bought um, Mindy Cowling's book, Is Everyone Hang Out Without Me? I have probably bought this five times or something, but I don't have one for myself. I always end up passing it on to someone. So I just really wanted to get one to have for myself. I love this book. I really want to reread it this summer. It's it's just one of the funniest autobiographies ever, which obviously it's Mindy, but it's like sweet but funny at the same time. It's perfect. So I bought that. And then I've been wanting to get this book forever. This is BJ Novak's Book of Short Stories, One More Thing. And um, so I'm about a third of the way in. I love this. I love short stories. I used to write all the time like high school beginning of college and then I kind of got out of it I got obsessed with Netflix so um I used to always love writing short stories short stories and poetry were like my favorite things to write so I love reading short stories because they're very it's very hard to have an entire story with a good ending in such a short format so I'm really impressed reading BJ's short stories because they are so good like they're so well-rounded and they always end and you don't feel like that like ended weird or like it didn't finish the story they are just so good definitely adult language in some of it which I think makes it even funnier um, but I really really like it so far and if you have been wanting to read his book definitely pick it up I want to get um it's a children's book but I have little cousins but the, I think they're too old for it now but BJ's book the book with no pictures I really want to get that for them but like I said I think they're too old now 
I also got a backup or a second one of my Real Techniques blush brush. As you can see, I've been using it. This is one of my favorite brushes of all time. I love it for blush. I love it for bronzer. So now I have two so I can use one for blush, one for bronzer and whatever. So I love this. Highly recommend it on Amazon. It's like $6 or something. It's awesome. Okay, then I have this little like thing that I put smaller stuff in. A lot of this is from eBay. I was like eBay crazy lately. So this is one of my favorite things that I've bought recently. And these are a pair of sunglasses. And I, I'm really not like a crazy sunglass person. Like I've mentioned before, I pretty much break or lose every pair of sunglasses I've ever owned in my entire life. Like I'm just that person. So I never invest money into sunglasses, but I became obsessed with these. And these are brand the, by the brand, I want to say Quay, but it's pronounced Key. And they're from Australia, and these particular ones have been sold out, like, everywhere. I've been stalking their website, all their, like, reputable seller websites. Then I went to eBay, and I wanted all black. Like, they have different colors, but I wanted them in all black. And then finally someone posted them. So it actually came with this case. It's really, really nice, and it has, like, this type of opening. Like, you pinch it, and then it opens. It's, like, kind of cool. I've never had such a fancy pair of sunglasses, and these probably aren't even that fancy, but these are called the Key Quay Steel Cat in Black, and I freaking adore them. They're amazing. They fit so well. They have the nose pieces, so they sit above my cheeks, and they don't like like when I smile, they still don't touch, which I really appreciate. They're this really awesome cat eye shape and they have this like, um, it's like open. It's amazing. I hope that you can tell. And these are like UV protection, which I didn't even realize when I was buying them, but I really, really like them. They were like $50 or something, which is the most I've ever spent on sunglasses. But I was seriously like obsessed with these for a month. And to me, that's a long time to be like constantly obsessed with something. So I am so happy that I bought them. The eBay seller I bought them from was super fast shipping, super sweet to work with. And um, I just love them, love them. Okay, then I bought a few um, like beauty type things. So all this stuff I, well not all of it, but some of this I've been using, such as this. So this was a total, total impulse purchase. I was reading, I really want to get the MAC Face and Body Foundation. It's like an obsession I've had for a while, but I just never buy it for some reason. So I was looking up reviews and I really like reading makeup and beauty blog.com's reviews. I, I don't follow her blog, but a lot of times when I like Google um, reviews for stuff. I always read hers because I just love how she does reviews and I, I just really trust her. So I was reading her MAC face and body review and she said that she loves using this brush. And this is the Hourglass number two. It's like a foundation and blush brush. I've been using it so it doesn't look that perfect. But this is pretty hella expensive if you buy it from Sephora. So I found this on eBay for like $20 less or something. It's still like $30 or whatever. But it's really, really heavy. Like this is all like metal and it's just really, really nice feeling. So um, this is awesome for like buffing and foundation. And it's not like super dense, but it's actually perfect. I love this so much. So I've been using this this week, as you can obviously tell, and I really, really have been enjoying it. So um, I definitely recommend that for any foundations. I've used it not only with my tinted moisturizer, which you're like, why would you use it with tinted moisturizer? Sometimes I don't like to get my hands dirty in the morning. It just makes me feel gross. So I'll use a brush and that brush did really well. And then I also used it with my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous, beautiful as well. So I really, really have been loving that. And I'm glad that I made an impulse purchase for that. Then this is something that I've been thinking about for years, but I didn't ever buy it. There's like certain things that I really want for a long time, but I never buy for some reason. And this is one of them. And this is the Polydorf Sheer Crease Brush. And Polydorf um, is kind of hard to find, but I found this on eBay and I love it. You guys know I love these fluffy kind of tapered brushes. Lisa Eldridge uses this all the time in her tutorials and I just, I love her. So 
I found this on eBay for like $10 less than retail and it was like from a reputable reputable seller and it seemed like because I think Polydor Flake used to be sold in like at counters but now it it's not or something I don't really know the history behind it but it seemed like some of the things that she had were testers so maybe she used to work there or she's like a buyer I don't I don't know so um I have yet to use this but it looks amazing it looks like my Sephora number 73 brush I really like but a little fluffier and a little more egg shaped so yeah I'm really excited about that because I've wanted that for a long time then I finally bought a new beauty blender. This is on Amazon actually because I have Amazon Prime now and it's just so fast shipping like it's crazy. And so this was the cheapest one this purpley color I think it was in Royal and um, it had like great reviews same as the pink one and I, I love pur purple is my favorite color so um, I finally got a new one of these yay and honestly the Real Technique sponge can apply your like foundations and stuff in the same way as this but I don't think that it's nearly as good like I will always repurchase beauty blenders now I just think that they're there's something really special about them and I just love it okay so I lied there is one thing of makeup but this is kind of like a necessity that I need to like buy every time I see it and this is the nourishing nude balm from L'Oreal this is the original like new uh old formula as opposed to the new one where they changed the color so I found this at our grocery store or something so I bought another backup so every time I see one of these I'm gonna buy it I don't care if I'm on a makeup no buy or not okay and then I got um I placed an order with Polish Choice to get some samples and I'm really excited about it so I used Nisi's um link and if you use her link you get $10 off a purchase of like $10 or more or something and then she gets $10 and I think I have one now too if I do I'll link it down below that would be cool but like I don't really know how, how it works but so I've been wanting to try a few things from them one especially is the BHA 9 um, this is the I bought everything in sample size and it's for stubborn imperfections and um okay so I don't know if it's like safe to use it around your eye area probably not it probably says like do not use around eyes avoid direct contact with eyes so I have this little like milia bump right here I have had it for quite some time and I do not know how to get rid of it so I was googling it <laughs> google I feel like I'm like sponsored by google because I use them all the time um it oh wait white bumps it says so maybe you can use it around there um it said that you need to use like some sort of exfoliant to get rid of it so I bought this for that in particular this is like a very small vial it's kind of like kind of looks like a perfume vial so I don't know I have yet to try it we'll see if it works hopefully it doesn't blind me I don't know tell me if I shouldn't use it around there but it literally all the websites said that I read it was like use some sort of chemical exfoliant and it's like oh but it's by my eye I don't know tell me then I also got this it's like a travel size of the resist hyaluronic acid booster and um, I was kind of surprised with how small this ended up being because this kind of looks like it'll be like this big it's like this big so it's kind of a lot smaller um but I've been wanting to try more Polish Choice stuff and I don't know I thought that this might be kind of cool hyaluronic acid is really nice but I haven't found a serum that I really like that is like its main purpose is to hydrate your skin so I'll see if I like that and then I got three samples each of two different treatments these are like serums so I got the skin balancing super antioxidant concentrate serum and it says what it does fights multiple signs of aging so this has retinol in it and I haven't ever used anything with retinol but um I thought maybe it might be cool to do I don't know so I got three of those and then I got three of these the resist ultra light super antioxidant concentrate serum and this has hyaluronic acid so I'm gonna be trying this stuff out and you guys will hear my reviews in empties or if they're especially awesome I'll of course mention them in current favorites 
Okay, so now on to the massive pile of clothes. So this is something from a while ago, but I wanted to mention it because I really love it. It's this Mossimo shirt from Target. Let me try to back up. Um, so it's just like this basic, like crepey material, um, and it has rolled up sleeves with a little gold, like fake gold button. It's a v-neck. This is one of my favorite cuts ever. I didn't even have to try this on. I just bought it because I knew that I would love this. It's like loose and long and kind of a high low. This is like not really helpful. Um, but I just love this. So I wanted to mention that if you like shirts like this that are like v-neck, like half sleeves, roll up, um, loose, like for some reason, it kind of reminds me of like an artist's smock. I don't know why. Like, that's probably not an attractive thing to like s describe it as. Um, but I really, really love this. And I think it was like 20 or $25 at Target. Okay, so I went crazy at Kohl's last week and me and my mom went. And so I had mostly in my mind like summertime clothes. I need to buy all new shorts because none of my shorts from last year really fit me and I don't like the style of them anyhow. And then I found other stuff. I only got one pair of shorts. So I found this really, really cute blouse. And this is from Lauren Conrad. She currently has a Disney collection and a lot, like 90% of her Disney collection stuff has like dots, but then with the mouse ears and that is cute but I would never wear that unless I'm like at Disney and I'm only at Disney like once every few years so I found this shirt that I really liked and it's just like it reminds me of Rachel Berry from Glee it's just like a scalp who is calling us um it's just like a scallop um little tank top with little cut out in the back and it's just normal dots it's navy and white and I really really like it I've already worn that and it's really comfortable, it's not too sheer, and it's just really nice. Then I also got these shorts from the Lauren Conrad collection. They're called Desert Palm, and they're just really cu cute, cool coral shorts, and they just have plain back pockets, and they're just really awesome. They fit really nicely, and they're not too short. I wouldn't ever wear these to work or anything, but I'm just looking for shorts for like hanging out, and these were really, really nice. They were kind of a little more than I wanted to pay. They were like $33. Um, but I liked them so much that I got them. This was my favorite and best deal that I got at Kohl's. So this is another piece from Lauren Conrad. This is her Nouveau Romance little pleather, fake leather skater skirt. It's so freaking adorable. I love it. So it was on clearance. It originally was $50. Then it was on clearance for $10, which I was like, that's insane. When it rang up, it was $5. So I am obsessed with this. I think I'm going to wear this to the Taylor Swift concert. I, I just love it so much. So I always like raid the Kohl's clearance, like, uh, not shelves. <sighs> Why am I having such a problem? Like the racks of clearance because you can find some of the most amazing things for the best prices. So that was amazing. Then I, the majority of my stuff is all workout clothes and I really want to work out more, get more in shape, get more in the habit of working out. So I didn't have any workout clothes for like summer so I needed some stuff really bad so I found these on clearance these are like little Nike shorts they were on clearance for $12.80 which I didn't think was bad they're just really cute like they're kind of that wicking material and I don't know they're not too short they're perfect for like running or working out and they're on clearance this I love I bought a lot of stuff from this brand this Fila F-I-L-A and this is like an ombre like amazingness shirt and um most of the rest of this wasn't on sale this is called coral gem and um size medium i got and it's like that wicking material it is beautiful i love it and it's a v-neck so that's like awesome this is also really cute this is a more loose fitting top and it's like a florally print sorry that's like in the way 
And this one is called Bloom Multi, size medium, again, and it's more like a racer back. But I thought that this would be nice, like, doing stuff outside in the summer, even if it's not working out. Then I had to get some sort of, like, pants or, like, capris that were, like, summer appropriate. So I got these, like... They kind of go to my knee length, and again, it's that Fila brand, and it is that pretty sky blue color. And they're just like basic, kind of like, they're not shorts, they're not like biker shorts, but it's like that style. This is one of my favorite things that I got, and this is by Gaim, the, uh, that like yoga company. I have a few yoga DVDs by them. So this is like really soft. It's like cotton. It has a built-in bra and then the back is so freaking cool. It's like this big cutout and it's just so comfortable. This is actually a size small and usually I take mediums and stuff but the small fit perfect for this. So I'm really happy with all that stuff. It makes me want to work out. And then the last kind of workout thing I got was, well, this is not really a workout, but it was in that section. And this is this really insanely awesome jacket. And it's again a ombre style and it's like a rain jacket. It has a hood and it's just really, really, really cool. This is a size, size large and I just thought this was awesome and it's very eye-catching as you can tell. Okay, my last stuff is in this box. So two of my favorite things that I got at Kohl's were these t-shirts and these are in the junior section and this is the tag that's on them. It's called the ex-boyfriend tee and it says the tee you won't want to get rid of. When I saw these, I knew that these would be my new favorite t-shirts and they really are. They're by the brand Awake and they are so, so nice. These were on like kind of an end display. They must be new. They're just like loose they have a rolled up sleeve like sewn so so soft long they have a little bit of a like a cut right at the side panel like where the sides meet unbelievably soft they fit beautifully I this is like amazing so I got this beautiful like maroon color and then of course I got black um I'm probably gonna get more I want like all the colors I want multiples they're amazing. They just fit so nice. They drape beautifully. It's like a high-end shirt for, I think they were $12.99. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So those are some of my favorite things that I found at Kohl's. And again, those were in the junior section. This was the uh, thing that I found at Marshall's. And of course it's inside out, so unprepared. And I love finding like Phillies brand stuff at Marshall's. It's always like half price or like something crazy. And sports brand merchandise or like clothes is always so expensive so i found this really cute top it's by nike it's that like wicking material and it's just a v-neck of phillies and it's really nice 14.99 originally 30. so i got one for me and one for my mom because i know that she always loves getting phillies stuff too so i was really happy when I found that. So if you have like a favorite sports team that you go to their games or you just support them, check out you know, like your local Marshalls and Target, not Target, TJ Maxx to see if they have that sports brand or sports team, sports, brand, sports team, their stuff there because it's an awesome deal. Okay, only a few more things. So this is really, really, my like, what is happening? Okay. So this company like liked one of my Instagram pictures about Mindy Calling and I really like to click on people's Instagrams when I see that they like my post. So I clicked on theirs and they happen to be like an Etsy seller and they have these shirts that say like what would so and so do, like what would Taylor do or what would Mindy do, like what I got. And so I really wanted to get one. I wanted, I want to get multiple ones now that I got this one. But this is what it says. It says, what would Mindy do? And the O in do is a little cupcake. It's like a cupcake emoji. And so these are just like, you know, t-shirts that you can buy at like AC Moore or something. This is a medium. I, for future ones, I'll get a small because they're like a unisex size. Like, I just love the words on them. And this cupcake one is a limited edition. They have ones that are just, um, that they have all the time that it's a, 
ice cream cone emoji and I just freaking love this so I'm probably gonna wear this as like a sleep shirt or something but I want to get I'm going to a Taylor Swift concert next weekend and they have a few Taylor Swift shirts and one says no it's Becky from the tumblr meme thing and I really want to get that one but I'll get that in a small so that was really exciting okay then this is what I'm wearing as well as I have some other pieces this is the company misguided and this is like a British brand as far as I can understand so Chloe told me about this brand last weekend she was like look at all these cute dresses I'm getting and I was like oh my god what even so we ordered like a bunch of the same stuff and I got three dresses I'm so excited I love two I'm not sure about one I'm gonna let Chloe try it on and see if she likes it so the one that I'm wearing now is really awesome. This is probably my favorite. So let me try not to flash you. Um, so it has this cool like cutout here. It's called like a lattice and this is the rust color. And Chloe got it in like an olive green and it's just like a skater dress. It's really cute. So I got that one and it's just like cotton. It's really, really nice. And the cutout in the middle, I'm just wearing like a strapless nude bra and you really can't tell. Like it doesn't affect how the look is. Then I got this really, really cute maxi dress. I love maxi dresses in the summer. Like you guys know, I've been obsessed with like cool backs of stuff. So this is the front. It's just like a scoop. It's just a black basic dress but then the back is so freaking awesome I don't know if you'll be able to tell but it has like all these straps you literally cannot tell it's driving me crazy so it's really cute I'll post the link down below so you can see it but it's just really nice nice material and these were all around like $50 or something and the day that we were buying them it was 30% off dresses and free express shipping to the night to the United States like I said they're based in the UK so I got all this for less than a hundred dollars three dresses for less than a hundred amazing and then this one so this has like kind of depressing story about it so like I said I ordered all this stuff after Chloe told me about it and so we ordered this dress that I'm wearing now just in different colors and then this dress that I have here it's beautiful the pattern is gorgeous it's called like the oversized something or other dress it has a very deep v which is what i'm conflicted about so we both ordered this dress and a few days after we placed the order chloe was like they emailed me saying that that dress was out of stock and that they're refunding me and i was like oh man so i checked my email because this was the dress that i was most excited about i checked my email and i didn't have anything and i was like what the heck and I was like, oh God, like I placed my order after Chloe. How would I get it? And she wouldn't get it. And I was like feeling so guilty about it because she told me about it. Like what the heck? So lo and behold, I did get the dress and she didn't, which is really like weird. Like how was that even possible? I ordered it hours after she did. And I think that that's really like suspicious or something I don't know how to explain my confusion but it's really really cute but the V is very deep and I don't have a super giant chest or a super small chest it's just like in the middle and I feel like my boobs look a little weird in this I don't know because I don't know what bra to wear with it because you can't wear one that goes across because it it like cuts into the V so I'm gonna have Chloe try it on and see if she likes it and if she does, she can have it because I don't feel completely comfortable in it. I love the fit of it. I really, really do. The material is kind of scratchy, but um, I love the fit so much that it wouldn't bother me. But the V is just a little too much for me. So that's that. And I'll let you guys know if Chloe decides to keep it or if we return it or whatever. And then the last, last thing is a bathing suit. And this is the bathing suit that I talked about a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago at this point, it was on uh, Nordstrom. I think they still have it in like limited sizes. And this is by Badgley Mishka. I don't know how the hell to say this name. Um, Badgley Mishka. They're like a shoe brand mostly. 
and um, so this is the size eight. That's like the pant size that I wear is eight. Um, it's hard with one pieces to know what size. Like I haven't worn a one piece since I was like in elementary school or something, but this is so freaking awesome. So it's a very deep V, very deep, like the, like this dress. And then um, it's just like a uh, basic, it's black and then it has ruching like where your stomach is. And then it's just like a basic bottom and then the back is all open as well. It's beautiful. It's very, very well made. The sides have this beautiful detail that it like wraps around. It looks just so expensive. And it was originally very expensive. The full price is $114. It was on 60% off. So it was only like 48 or something after shipping or after tax. What the heck? No one ever calls here. Are they calling my phone too? No. Okay. So I really, really like this. The V is very, very, very deep. So um, it goes like, like pretty far down your chest. And so I would say buy your normal size. Like this is kind of when I'm putting it on, it's like hard to get over my hips because I have childbearing hips. Um, but it fits like tight, which is what you need with such a deep V of a bathing suit because you don't want a bathing suits like you're very like you're just like running around frolicking and like swimming and stuff you don't want it to be like loose and then your boobs pop out or something so I am keeping this size like even though it kind of is tight to put on it looks beautiful when I have it on and I just think it's very different and like classy but like sexy at the same time and um I'll let you guys know how it goes when I actually wear it. I have a pool party next weekend. Um, so I'm like kind of nervous, I guess. I don't know how to explain it, but I definitely feel, even though I felt weird, like, because it does like your boobs, like can kind of show like kind of in this dress, you can kind of see the outline of your boobs. Um, which like, isn't something I normally like show or like wear clothes that show that off. But I was just thinking about it, and when you wear a bikini, you show off way, way more. And so this makes me feel more covered up, but it has that, like, cool design and, like, effect. So we'll see. It's just kind of, I showed my parents and my sister, and they were like, yeah, it's a little, like, more revealing, I guess, like, in that area. But it, they weren't like, oh, my God, like, put on some clothes. So that made me feel better. <laughs> And I don't know. I just need some reassurance sometimes. But that is everything. I bought all the things, you guys. A lot of this was clothes, which I don't, I don't buy a lot of clothes a lot of the time, but then a lot was random as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really wanted to share this all with you just in case you see something like some random thing that I showed, like the coffee beans, and you're like, oh my god, that's a good idea, or like, I've been looking for that, or whatever. Like, I used to not really show everything I buy, but now I think it's kind of fun. My camera shut off, so I can't really remember what I was saying, but I just think it's cool to, like, show you guys a bunch of random stuff. Even if not everyone is interested, maybe someone will get something out of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this hella long haul, last one until, like, my birthday or something. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!